Hi guys and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to do an exercise together and we're going to use and practice the polygon command and the ellipse command and some other commands as well but these two commands we'll practice it in this exercise. So first of all let's see the picture. You can see this picture in the assignments below. Okay. As you can see we have some, this is the polygon, we have this circle, we have this ellipse or this half ellipse from point C to point D, from point to C to point D, it's an ellipse. And as you can see here, this is a quarter ellipse from point A to point B. This is a quarter ellipse from point A I will start working with the inside shapes and then we'll move to the outside, okay? So first of all, let me just draw this guideline from this center to this and which has a dimension of 5 units. Go here, pick the line, select the point at 5 in the direction of 0 in there you go. Then we go to the polygon. As you can see, we have this polygon here, which has this dimension from one edge to another. And this dimension is 1.75. And as you can see, let's assume we have a circle drawn inside this polygon. And this circle will have a diameter of 1.75 so this polygon will be inscribed in a circle go here let's enter the number of the side as you can see from the drawing it is let's select another one one two three four five six seven and eight eight sides go here Type 8, enter, specify the center, and then I want inscribe in circle. Now specify the radius. As you can see, the radius of this circle, whole radius, the diameter of this circle is 1.75. So when you use the calculator, the diameter or the radius will be 0 0.75, 0 0.875. Go back and type 0 0.875, enter. There you go. Going back to the drawing, we have a circle here. The circle has a radius of 0 0.6 feet. So go to the circle, select the center. And let's specify what the diameter, enter, 0 0.63, enter, there you go. The diameter is 0 0.63. And then we have this outer circle with a radius of 0 0.63. Let's go and draw the circle again from the same center and put R, enter. And then point six enter, and there you go. Then here we have like this kind of circle, which has let's just delete all the links. As you can see, we have this we have this circle here, which has a diameter of what three. This is a whole circle, okay? So let's go and pick the circle command from the same center with a diameter of B. There you go. Now let's go to the drawing and start drawing the ellipses. Let's pick another one, let's pick yellow. As you can see, we have this half ellipse from this point to this point. And it has 
the distance of this axis of what? 0.5. So let's go. Six plus the end point. End point axis. Go. End point. End point. And the axis will be, as I told you, 0.5. Enter. And there you go. Again. Let's start drawing this ellipse, which is a quarter ellipse from point A to B. Point A to B. And as you can see, this ellipse, just delete all this. Select another one, this thing. As you can see, from A to B. And this ellipse has this same center of this polygon and this circle. So, and it will have a distance of this axis will be the same radius of this circle. So this circle has a diameter of B. So the radius of the circle will be 1.5, right? So let's go. Let's select what? The center in point is the center. The end point I want it to be here. Okay, zoom in. As you can see, the end point. Now, as you can see, the distance of the axis will be from the center to here, which will be 1.5. You can whether type it 1.5 or just select the quadrant of the circle. I will select the, the quadrant. So there you go. And as you can see, this is the shape that you want. We will do some kind of trimming and we will get the final riddle. Okay? Let's do this. Pick the trim. Not need this, right? Not this as well. Go and see. We have just only this circle, half circle, and this is ellipse. This half circle, so anything inside will fit. This side will be a circle, and the outer side will be just an ellipse. So I'll delete the circle from the side, right? And this I will delete it as well. See okay, now? And then there is this one. I don't need it. I don't quite as well. Let's just press the escape since we can delete these shapes by ourselves. Go and delete this. Go and do some. Escape. Zoom out. If I deleted it. And then just this smaller, this right. And as you can see, there you go, you're drawing. You can put the dimension on it, do anything, enter the text, but we're not going to do that since it will be easier for you now. And that's it for the ellipse and polygon exercise.